Hey, welcome back to Crash Course. This is the short video series where we take big doctrinal concepts and break them down into bite-sized pieces for you to figure out what Christianity is all about and how we can navigate this world. And today we're talking about how was the Bible formed? We've been in a short series talking about the Bible. So how did it get here? How do we have this book that we read on a, on a regular basis, I hope, but certainly on occasion? Uh, so have, maybe you've heard this, like someone has said to you or you've read it on a blog somewhere that the Emperor Constantine back in 300 some odd AD just decided, hey, this is the Bible, this is what you're going to read. Or maybe you thought, you've heard that the Council of Nicaea just one day decided, hey, this is the Bible, read it. Or you heard, you know, people, we've left out intentionally the Gnostic Gospels and these hidden Gospels because they're revealing something that's inconvenient about the church and about Jesus and we didn't want that and so it's kind of hidden. So is, is, that all, is that all that true? Is that what really happened? Well, the answer is no. <laughs> that's not what happened. Um, it's actually a bit more organic than that, a bit more interesting than that, except it's actually a little more normal than all of that too. So there was no meeting that decided, hey, this is the Bible. That it, there wasn't a bunch of old dudes that sat down that were pastors and priests and said, we've decided today that this is the New Testament canon. That didn't happen. That's not how it worked. Uh, it was formed for several hundred years before anything was formalized. And the way it happened was kind of like, you know, it, it happened by doing this, by the church formed the canon, and yet the canon formed the church. And we're going to unpack that a little bit over the course of this short video. But what we have today is the canon of scripture. So the root for canon is canon in Greek, and it literally means rule. And so a canon is a general law, rule, or principle by which something is judged. So all of our life, all of our doctrine, all of our pursuit of Christ, it's all measured and judged by the canon of Scripture. So how did we get it, really? Well, the early, earliest Christians, they didn't have the New Testament. They just had the Tanakh, that's the Old Testament, all the, the Jewish Bible. And then they also had the tradition of the Apostles. They didn't have the Gospels, they didn't have the letters of Paul, they didn't have Revelation, they didn't have any of this. These things were written. But the Tanakh, the Bold Testament, was writ that was buttoned up hundreds of years before. And so that was the one thing that was locked in. And so by the time the Council of Nicaea rolled around in the 300s, a canon was determined, but the canon was being organically developed. As I said already, the canon formed the church, and the church formed the canon. So here's what I mean by that. Paul would write letters. That formed the church. He's instructing them on the doctrine of, of Christianity. This is the truth. This is what we're to believe. The Gospels are written by the apostles and by witnesses of the resurrection of, of Jesus. And that informed the church. That gave the church truth to build upon. And so that formed them. This very, very early works of the apostles and those who were witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus, that all formed the church. And then later on, as new books were written, new uh, letters were coming up, like maybe you heard of the Gospel of Thomas or the Gospel of Peter, these Gnostic Gospels, these hidden Gospels. The church could look at those things and be like, um, no, that, that doesn't fit. And the reason you would say that is if you know, like this, let's take Star Wars as an example, right? You have the canon of the, of the six movies. That's like the base canon by which you judge everything. And then the Star Wars Christmas special comes out and you're probably like, hmm, that's, that's not canon. That's not what this is, that, that, that ain't it. And that's the same thing the church did. When those other books came out, they're just like, no, that's not this. That's not Jesus. Infancy Gospel of Thomas, for instance. All you have to do is read it. Jesus has, is like, there's one episode where Jesus is bumped into by a fellow young child and Jesus, the child, smites him. <laughs> smites him for bumping into him. And the church is probably like, that ain't Jesus. Jesus doesn't smite children, you know? And then on top of that, we have things like in the Gospel of Peter, where a talking, walking cross exits the tomb. Nope, that's not that. That ain't it. So it's very easy as you read these, these texts to know this isn't really the canon, right? This is the Star Wars Christmas special. This is not the canon, okay? And that's what I mean, that the church formed the canon, the canon formed the church. And so the Spirit is forming the canon, 
by inspiring his authors to write the will of God, the revealed story of God, the doctrine of God, through Peter, through Paul, through the apostles, and then the church responded to that teaching through the Spirit, through these means that he chose, and that is how we wound up with the scripture we have today. And that's eventually what the Council of Nicaea just, they had. And they said, well, this is the Bible, so let's go with it. And that's what the Bible is all about. That's where the canon came from. And so now you know.